Hello everyone. So let's talk about three ways. Three ways to find top in number of rows in a resource set using SQL, right? So for example, you want to find the top uh, five wage earners from a resource set from a from the employees table or uh, the table where a salary is stored or the four or the uh, t top. Uh, or the oldest 10 days from a table right so there are many uh, scenarios was where you have to select the top n number of rows or uh, the bottom 10 number of rows right so we will see th uh, three ways to uh, find out the n number of rows using Oracle so that one uh, one of the ways is using the uh, row num pseudo column so column so and I'll explain all of this later using analytic function and using fetch class so these are the ways that we are going to talk about today row number so what is a what is it so let's let's just go back and see the scenario that we are trying to uh, solve. So we have the employees table with us. Employees, right? So this is this is the employees table, and it has the first name, last name, the the salary column. It has all the salaries. So we want to find out the top ten people who earns the most amount of salary who are the highest salary earners right so top 10 highest salary earners so let's pin the result and um, let's try to find out the the result using the row num pseudo column so oracle provides the row num pseudo column to just uh, to find out the the or to pinpoint the row that you are trying to access so uh, let me just uh, write the query so select so let's find out let's just try to uh, uh, fetch the first name last name and the salary first to make it simpler so first name and last name salary from employees right so so this is the first name last name and the salaries so if we order the employees table order by salary so we can order by uh, order by using the salary column and if we put the desk it means it will order from the highest number to the lowest number so so here Stephen King he earns the highest 24,000 and then Nina Kosher so from there to up to this row Lisa Ozer so these are the top 10 highest earners uh, from the A plus zero. so we, d we want to eliminate uh, all the rows from 11 to beyond below right so how to just remove all the rows from 11 to below so we can use the row num pseudo column so so let's just make all this as a subquery and add and select from from there right so select star from this subquery so the subquery uh, is in is is the ordered uh, portion of the desired query the, the desired result that we are seeking so select start from the sub query and we will add a where clause here where row num is less than equals 10 it will fetch the top 10 arms. okay so let's run it so this these are the top 10 people who and the most here we are using the ronum pseudo column so what ronum is ronum just uh, how do we put it so ronum is 
first oracle fetches the result and when the result is on the oracle's uh, memory on its hand then oracle attaches the row and pseudo column so you can uh, pinpoint a row using the row num so if so yeah and it uh, so the row num right so for example in in here we are having from one to uh, i don't know how many results and if uh, so as we are selecting from this subquery we are uh, we are fetching the selected portions we are fetching the top 10 rows so using the row number so let's move on to another way of uh, so if we just uh, instead of 10 if we just uh, say 20 then it will fetch the top 20 wage earners right top 20 salary earners or so on so this is one way of doing things now let's move on to another way using analytical function right analytic functions so oracle provides a lot of analytic functions to accomplish almost any kind of uh, query any kind of result so you can format it uh, you can format uh, your data in any way right so uh, there is no such way that you cannot format using the sql language uh, and or uh, an analytical function is a great help uh, with that uh, in that regard so um, the so let's just uh, start with the desired portion first name and then last name last name and salary from employees right so these this is the uh, these are the rows that we want and it is not ordered so what we can do is we can add a analytical fu analytic function called row row uh, row number right number so this function lists uh, it add a column it will add a column with the number with the with an order number so we have to add the over clause after the row number function so row number over and we have to put order by clause order by salary and this so we can rename the column by saying serial so so as you can see that it added an extra column called serial which uh, sh is showing uh, from the uh, from 1 to uh, up to the 107 based on the uh, the amount of the salary right so the uh, the first one is belongs to the Stephen King who is the highest wage earner highest salary earner then Nina Kosher. So this is uh, so. All we have to do now is to just uh, add the subquery. Select start or select first name, uh, last name, uh, salary from, and then make it a subquery and what say real is less than equals to 10 so this is identical to the top 10 thing that we did with, uh, before right so now using the row number article function instead of using the row number function we can use some other functions right like uh, there is something called rank we can use rank so rank over same thing order by salary test okay. so we can just call it serial so it will fetch the same result because the rank and row number similar but there are uh, some differences so to find uh, so and also there are, there is another function called dense rank so what rank does is that it just 
orders the uh, the rows based on the uh, the column provided here so let's see the ranking that it did serial here so these two people have same uh, same salary amount right so if both of them are ranked 2 so this is the rank this is what rank does Sal serial using let's call it serial rank and let's call it serial row number right so there is another function called dense rank so let's add dense rank over here and we will see three uh, we will find out the three different dense rank right so so what are the differences right so we need to see the differences um let's remove this from for now so we will just comment it out let's comment out so and then if we oh man so let's show all the serials all the uh, columns serial columns and then so here as you can see we used three different uh, functions three different analytical functions we used ronum we used rank and tense rank so what ronum did is it just put a row number based on the column that we provided to order with right so it ordered using the salary column in descending format from 1 to 2 and to, to, to 10 and beyond but when we use the rank function what it did is that it ranked the similar or the same uh, value with same number so that is the main difference between row, row number and rank function so for example here as the these two people earns exactly same amount of money so both of them are ranked using same number two so both of them are ranked two here so dense rank but the the thing about rank is that it skipped it skips right so for example it uh, put one in there and two for the same for these two people because the salary is same but it skipped the three because the three and it went to four directly four and it uh, assigned four to john john russell right and the difference is with dense rank and a rank is that this rank does not skip any number so it just uh, it just put two in here and then it put three for the fourth uh, for the fourth person right the fourth uh, person who earns 14,000 so that is the uh, main difference between uh, rank and dense rank so these three are slightly different uh, three functions so for here for uh, in this scenario we can either use the row number or the serial so we just it, it will be harder to use dense rank here so we can just put the serial row number here where that so it will oh man so all right so this this will show the top 10 uh, 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 salary earners using the row number function right also what we can use we can use the serial rank um, uh, column here which uses the rank function and it also fetches the same result so the salary column the last name and the first name so these are the top 10 salary earners now let's move on to the last way of uh, today's um, session so using the fetch clause so oracle provides the fetch clause to fetch the first number of rows so for example select star or select first name so let's put 
some gap here so let's first name and then last name and then salary from employees so now we have to put order close order by salary desk so it orders from highest to the lowest from 24,000 to 10 and beyond right so and then what we can do is we can just add a clause called fetch fetch first 10 rows only and it will just show the top 10 rows so it is one of the easiest ways and it is actually actually the easiest way you can you do not have to um, you do not have to uh, use any subquery or anything so and also it is the most efficient way why because when you are using the fetch clause you are telling oracle that how many number of rows you actually want so in here you want the top 10 rows so what oracle does is that it it does not uh, pull any kind of row any rows beyond the top top 10 rows in in this uh, comparing uh, in comparison to that first the subquery runs and all the rows are fetched and then here you are pulling the 10 rows right so you're pulling the 10 rows based on the order of the salary but to do that you're ordering all the um, all the employees from the table so it just orders right so it doesn't matter whether the uh, person is uh, beyond the top 10 list it uh, orders um, it just what it does is that it orders all the results right so it doesn't matter whether the person is on the list or not it orders for all the employees but here here when you're using the fetch column or uh, fetch uh, clause it does not perform the action or it does not order if it goes beyond the given limited rules right so that is the uh, main difference and it is the most efficient way to do it do uh, to pull the top 10 result or top uh, top number of rows or top in number of rows right so fetch first this this clause can be used to fetch to pull the top in number of rows so as we saw we saw three ways to pull in number of rows using the row num column so using this uh, row num pseudo column using analytical function analytic functions row number and the rank and using fetch clause to fetch the top number of rows i hope you learned something uh, yeah, if you if you learned something then please do uh, subscribe to the channel to find out uh, to uh, and uh, to support me and to uh, get uh, future uh, more videos uh, like this in future uh, and more tips and tricks about SQL and Oracle and other technologies uh, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put more videos like this and thank you very much